Hey everybody, Heather Lambert here from A More Magical Life. Um, I was, I'm here at my Cincy office, and I was just doing a training for my team, and I thought, well, I'm sitting here, I might as well get on an update too. So, um, feeling pretty good today, actually. The hair is growing. It's looking like I did it on purpose instead of like I didn't have much choice. <laughs> Um, but things are going good. So I, um, those of you that are new, I'm Heather Lambert, diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer at the end of March. Um, I did six months of IV chemotherapy. I did a uh, double mastectomy with expanders and had some lymph nodes removed that came back positive even after chemo. Um, so we did six weeks of heavy duty radiation and now we are on Zolota, which is an oral chemotherapy uh, treatment. So I take four pills in the morning and four pills at night every single day for two weeks and then I get a week off. And I do that same three week cycle eight times. So we'll be on those pills until July. It's gonna be a long road, but we are one cycle down, seven to go. Um, I'm on my off week. So I think that's um, part of why I'm feeling okay. Um, also, I think I'm feeling better because my radiation burns are finally healing. Um, that was tough. So going through radiation wasn't that bad, honestly. Um, I was actually quite surprised at how well I did and I didn't really have a lot of problems. Um, the greasing up every day was annoying and I ruined a few shirts, but that's okay. Um, I just get to go shopping again in my new ones. And um, so radiation was fairly easy. Radiation is not painful. The actual radiation doesn't hurt. Um, so if you're going through radiation, don't worry, don't stress, it's gonna be fine. Um, I don't know what's happening. Something hit a button. Um, so don't worry about that. But after radiation was over, that is when I struggled. So that is when um, your skin continues to burn even after treatments. So I had a spot here on my neck, on my collarbone, and then I have this whole side under here that was a little pink when I was done treatments, but it really started to... Um, grow and get really, really red and kind of inflamed and kind of fungy looking. Um, and then part of my underarm was like really dark and that got really painful, cause especially because it's under my arm because it rubbed a lot on my shirt and on my skin and everything just made it worse. So that was really hard and it kept getting worse after treatment. In fact, it was the hardest like 10 days later. So you'd think, oh yay, I'm done, celebrate. And no, it just kept getting worse. <laughs> so it was very uncomfortable for a little while, um, but I just kept using the Aquaphor. I did use some Silvadine for a couple of days because it was looking not so great. Um, and that helped. And then the Aquaphor really kind of helped out. But I got to where I was like, oh, when is this gonna end? And I posted in all my Facebook groups um, about radiation and they said two weeks, it takes two weeks. And literally to the day, the Friday was my two weeks after treatment had ended and I felt like I had finally turned a corner. Like it finally didn't look so inflamed. It looked a lot less red. It was feeling a little better. And over the next couple of days it started peeling and all, almost all of that darkness and redness and pinkness is all peeled off. And so I have all new fresh skin under my arm, which is still a little pink and a little tender because it's brand new, but it feels so much better than it did. So I continue to lotion up and put moisture on there regularly, but it's feeling so much better. And so not being in pain all the time makes so much difference. So I think that's part of why I feel pretty good right now. Um, so radiation burns are healing. Yay. Um, pretty soon I won't need to be greasy. That'll be good. And um, the Zolota. Zolota has been not too bad so far. Um, first couple of days I had kind of a dull headache but it went away pretty quickly, almost like my body just adjusted. Um, I feel like when I'm taking my pills, I feel like I have to eat regularly. Like I don't like to get hungry because I feel just off when I'm hungry. My tummy just is like, mm, need something in here. Um, but I never got nauseous and I didn't have any really problems. Um, fatigue was really the only thing so far. So I did feel a bit tired in the afternoons, especially on the second week. The end of the second week, I started feeling more tired. Although that's when my radiation was the worst too, so it could have been a double whammy. Um, this week is my off week, so I don't have to take pills this week. And I feel much better. So I don't know if that's because I'm 
radiation is healed or because I'm not taking pills or I have no idea. But I feel pretty good, so I'll take it and I'm going to run with it. Um, I was a little bit nervous because some of my Zolota group people said that they had the worst symptoms on their off week than on their on week. So I was hesitant going into this week, but um, so far so good. So I just have to be careful what I eat. Things are um, not gentle on the tummy, so I just have to be aware of that. Um, but otherwise, life goes on. And I'm starting to do more work and do some more stuff for my Scentsy business. Um, I'm starting to get things done that I've been kind of putting off. I've been cleaning out the house and decluttering and um, just kind of getting back to doing more than I was. Um, so that's good. So if you are taking Zalota or know somebody that's going to have to, um, don't be afraid. That's my number one tip going into any tr cancer treatment. Don't be afraid. Um, and I know that's easier said than done because anything new is going to be scary and you're going to be afraid of what's going to happen. And um, that's okay. That's normal. But just tell yourself that, well, what I can tell you is that any of my fears or anxieties about any of my treatments were always worse than the actual treatment. <laughs> so um, it's likely not going to be as bad as you think it is. Um, I took the pills that first day and I was so nervous and I just sat around waiting for things to happen, waiting to feel like crap. And I didn't, I didn't feel anything. I just was taking pills. Um, so don't be afraid. Just go into it. Know you're going to tackle some things. Things will happen. Side effects will happen. And some people have more or less than others and it sucks when you get them. And I'm so sorry if you're going through really hard side effects. Um, but you will get through them. I know you will. And, um, it doesn't mean because one person had them, another person will. So you don't know. And it might be okay. For most people, it's okay. And so um, don't be afraid. Just tackle it as it comes and um, know you're going to be good in the end. So that's it for me for now. I hope everybody's having a great week. Having a fabulous February. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'd love to respond and give tips or ideas or let you know what's going on or how I got through whatever. Um, but that's it for now. I'll be back for an update again soon.